Okay, so now let's watch um, the way it makes more sense to me and see if that makes more sense. All right, so we have the front end here, so the upsell for the front end is there. I keep clicking don't show again, but it keeps coming back. It's been like that for months. Okay. Now, since this has no downsell, we're going to leave this blank. Now, this, however, has an upsell. So, the upsell is there. And the downsell would be here. So, there is no upsell for this. There is, however, an upsell for this, which is this. So, and then the downsell for this is down here as well. So, here is, this is the back end right here. It has no upsell to it. So, we would leave the upsell alone and we would go with a downsell. Um, what is the downsell for that? Hold on, now I gotta look at the funnel again. Okay. They did not buy oh they they passed on this so they went here. So if they bought this, it would go to that, and if they didn't buy that it would go to something else. So it's this product. And let me see. Um That's the, no, the upsell I'm looking for. So, that would be that. That's the upsell. Okay, well, we still have the problem here. we got a buy button for that here, and we got a buy button for that there. So, I wouldn't be sure even which buy button to use. But we're not even there yet. Okay, and then the downsell for that would be uh, that. All right. Okay. Now this should have a downsell. If they don't buy the back end, they should go back into the funnel. Well, actually, if they buy this. They go here, so there wouldn't be a down sell. But if they don't, they go there. And if they buy that, they go back here, because they haven't seen this yet. If they don't buy that, they go there. If they go there and they buy that, that would be, then we'd upsell back, again, back into the same funnel. Okay, this, let's just see if I make this bigger, because it, no, it doesn't show us the full name, but we know that this is the same as this and this. Okay. So, and if they don't buy that, I could also still put them back to that. But again, we have problems with the different buy buttons. So, let's see, if they don't buy that, we'll put that here. And we'll go to... Yeah. Let's see how that works. So... Now the funnel looks right. Front end. OTO. Successful purchase of the OTO leads them to the back end. Decline of the OTO leads them to the down sell. Purchase of the down sell leads them back to the back end. 
no thanks on the down sell brings them to the second down sell. Uh, successful purchase on the back end doesn't do anything just like here. And then the second down sell, whether it's successful or not, still goes to the back end. So that's how this one makes sense. But I still have the problem with all these extra buy buttons. So see, here is the product. The, here's the front end. Okay, there's a buy button for it. And another thing, when you click on buy button, okay, you've got a no thanks link. Well, why on earth would I have a no thanks link on a front end product? Because if they don't buy it, they're not going to see anything else. They're not going to, unless it's a down sell. So that would imply that um, this would be the OTO. It's very confusing. I'm not even sure what the hell I'm doing here at this point. But then, as you can see, here's my my first OTO is Video Profit Mastery. So right here I got a buy button for it. But then over here I got a buy button. Which buy button am I supposed to use? Same thing with all the rest. There's a buy button for this one here, and here, and here, and here. Which buy button am I supposed to use? And either way I've set this funnel up, I've had that problem. So I'm not sure what to do.